Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the deck I'm currently playing in Standard. I went to my FNM, I was able to build the deck. I only really needed a few new cards. So I like the deck, it reminds me of a traditional control deck. Against my meta at my local game store, which I chose a new local game store, it's pretty good. Uh, it is pretty good. Once you get to turn 5, assuming that the opponent's board has been neutralized and you haven't taken too much damage, you can stabilize around turn 5 or 6. Uh, your 5 drops really help you stabilize. Now when you play a deck, you have to look at what is currently being played and what your lo in your local area your playgroup could have a different meta than online. So one way to quickly find out what the meta is for most players or more com what are the most commonly played decks are, you can go to mtggofist.com and they will tell you the percentage of the meta as well as the price. Now these decks are kind of new and I'm still experimenting. And I do play the deck, I'll do a deck tech uh, very soon. And I have changed the list out. I've always found it kind of strange when YouTubers would present your deck and it would be verbatim the exact list because, you know, unless your meta is exactly average, that's probably not what is optimal for your playgroup. So it's very good. Here we have a lot of Walking Ballista. Uh, Walking Ballista is still such a great card. There is the black red vehicles. Vehicles is after the challenger deck. I saw obviously a lot more mono red and a lot more vehicles. The mono red is very difficult to deal with. The vehicles is easier. There's also goblin gift. There are some goblin decks right now, which it's always nice to see goblin decks. I've always enjoyed them. Uh, obviously the new set has had uh, a lot of good goblins that have seen play in the past. Will they see play in the future? I have not seen them yet, but I'm sure they will be coming. So the deck I'm playing is a blue-white control deck, and yes, it does have Lyra. I play four copies of Lyra. I found a deck that was very similar to it with a few changes, and I'll go over the deck list. Mono Red is the most popular deck. After the Challenger deck, when you're talking about Hazret and when you're talking about Chandra Pyromancer. Is that the right Chandra? There's so many different Chandras. When you're talking about the Kaldes Chandra as the two most expensive cards, you literally can buy four of those decks for at Walmart if you're lucky. So you have to go to two different Walmarts and hopefully find two of them in each Walmart. Then you have a full-fledged red deck wins. Mono Red is very good. The Vehicle deck also has, when the Heart of Kinrin, the fact that there's so many copies of it in the Challenger deck, uh, I figured that there would be one or two cop copies, or, but wow, it's a lot of copies of it. You can also make a deck like that. So um, Blue White Gifts is kind of good, and Blue White Approach. Different decks, but at the end of the day, there is a lot of control. Uh, I think that my particular deck has a very good matchup against control because it does i mean the the cards are very similar i'm not going to lie and say that oh this is a new deck tech i came up with no the deck is very similar to all the control decks uh, it's just slightly different it's not a gift deck and it's very good against the dinosaurs and the monsters and uh, because it has lyra lyra is once you hit with Lyra or even block with Lyra, you gain lots of life and then you can just control later because you have mass board removal, you have target removal. Uh, your whole goal is to just stay alive uh, until you can, you know, get a four for one or a three for one or something like that. And then, you know, that's card advantage and any blue deck with card advantage will be able to take control of it. I have not faced the historical deck yet. That one looks like a lot of fun. That's still pretty new. I don't think anyone of my locals has built that. If they have, I didn't play it last Friday. The gifts deck is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, it is, 
a fun time to be playing Magic. A lot of the archetypes that are coming in, I can see White Weenie being very good. Like, I can see it. And I would love to play that deck. Um, that is my favorite deck. And that reminds me of, of really old school Magic where everyone was mono color. And if we had the dual lands, the original dual lands back then, but everyone's still mono color. Uh, so Historic would be very interesting. Mardu Vehicles is, has the Karn Scion, Scion of Urza, and that is the majority of the price. So you're still talking very little shakeup. Um, there's not much shakeup yet. Um, in my particular control deck, it is the control shell, but then you have Lyra, and then you have another creature whose name I forget that's very, very good. And I, he's, a, he's an uncommon legendary creature. So surprising, surprising to see him be that good. I didn't expect him to be that good, but when you actually play out, yeah, that's what you want. It gives like, he has flash, and then it gives all your historical things flash, I think, or it gives like something flash, but makes most of your deck uh, very, very fast. And that's good because you want to hold mana up, and then you want to respond. You always want to be responding. So this is the meta. I wanted to show you the top decks in standard. I believe this is quite a bit of them. What's that? Six. Um, does this call it top 20 decks in standard? Is it top 20? 15 maybe? Let's just call it top 20. No, let's call it top. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and guess that is a top 14 decks. This is a deck I'm playing. Ballista is just such a good card that you want to play it. Now, Wrath, Caspian Ship Maids, that's the one I'm talking about. That one's very good, like surprisingly good. On paper, it doesn't look amazing. I have four Lyras, I have no Gear Hoax, and I have no Teffies. So instead of the two Gear Hoax and the two Teffies, I have one more Lyra, I have one more Walking Ballista, and then I have a one more yeah two more uh ships made and my spells are slightly different i don't think teffy is that good um i might and, and at this point in time i don't own him so if i own him maybe i would test them out but right now i would much rather have the four ralphs and the four lyras uh, lyra comes down and she just hits very hard uh, it's, he, it doesn't need many more angels, and she gets it done. It reminds me of Morphling. You get this card down, and all you have to do is negate what your opponent is doing, and then you win the game. It's just such a... The first strike is incredibly relevant. It does a very good... It can block a lot of the dinosaurs and kill them. It can block... A, it can take a beating from an opponent's walking ballista and still survive. And at the end of the day, it's just great. Like, it's one of those, it reminds me a lot of Morphling. Protect her. Morphling had built-in protection, so it's more mana intensive. But this one is, you're not, it doesn't have built-in protection. But you have Supreme Will, you have Card Drawing, you have Negate, Syncopate. You have uh, Seal Away, Search, you have a lot of Card Drawing and our card filtering it eventually becomes card drawing and cyborg you have a lot of other gideon trials is very good he i would probably play four of him in my sideboard and i think he presents like a different type of not not something that they have to deal with immediately but it will annoy them and it will give you more time so at the end of the day uh settle the wreckage is amazing you just want to grind out your opponent. So the reason I don't... So A, I'll be honest, I don't own this card at this moment in time. But I don't think it's as good as Lyra. Um, I think Lyra, you would much rather... Even though it is a legendary creature, so I understand why people want to, want to play four, but just having one out is so important. If they deal with her, just having an extra copy. I don't think this guy is very good. And I... I didn't read like a pro article. I didn't do any of that stuff, right? I'm just basing it on how I play. And during pre-release, I played against him. 
and he just seems okay. Like, he just seems okay. Like, obviously, having before loyalty going up to five, but I can just kill him with Lyra, and then gave five life back, and what are you going to do? So the land base got slightly better with the Glacial Fortresses. I've noticed that one. I never have any issues with my mana base. And when you look at the counter spells and stuff, like it's not the best counter spells we've ever had, but it's good enough. So overall, this is a very, very solid deck. Um, I am going to talk about a specific uncommon right now. Okay, Flash Flying, you may cast historical spells as though they have Flash Artifacts, Legendaries, and saga, Sagas are historic. Now, there's nothing better than Flashing in a Lyra, right? I mean, my gosh, that's incredible, right? So, historical, when I first read that, I thought the ability would be kind of crappy, but then they defined it as Artifacts, Legendaries, and Sagas, so... I was like, oh, wait a second. That actually is very good. So not only does it have flying and flash itself and can block something out of nowhere, your Lyra has now become pretty big beating sticks, right? And also your walking ballistas, you can hold up mana and see what they do and then play walking ballista at the end of your opponent's turn, which is extremely good. So the definition of historical is, I think those cards will have a lot of value in the future, uh, cards that uh, emphasize that ability, mainly because there will only be more artifacts, there will only be more legendaries, and there will only be more sagas. So theoretically, this card could only get better, right? Anyway, that is it. Uh, let me know what you guys are playing at your FNM. I will be hoping to film at my location. And yes, I already have a group of friends who want to come over and play. So it's not going to be open for the public because we have lots of valuable stuff in it. Like it's not the value. It's not the cards I'm concerned about. It's a um, computers or client information. But anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.